Welcome to the next episode of 852 Reboot Hong Kong. We're in the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center and I'm interviewing Stuart Bailey, who is the CEO of Bailey Communications and also the chairman of the association related to the convention and exhibition industry. Hi Stuart. So tell me, when did you first come to Hong Kong? Uh, so I first came here in 2002 uh, and then I moved to China for two years and came back in 2004 uh, and I've lived here ever since. And you've been in the convention exhibition industry That's the right. whole time? Yeah, yeah, running trade exhibitions and conferences and events, so yes. And I know you more for the retail uh, side of things. You used to run a big thing called Retail Asia Expo. Um, so we'll probably talk about that a little bit later, but I'm, at the moment I'm curious to see, you know, we're in this huge exhibition center here in the the heart of Wan Chai in Hong Kong. And I'm curious to see, you know, what's, what's the industry doing to adapt to the various dramatic changes that have happened in Hong Kong in the last year? Sure, well, yeah, I mean, obviously it's affected us pretty much, uh, pretty hard. Uh, the exhibition convention industry in Hong Kong is worth 52.9 billion um, Hong Kong dollars per year. Um, obviously, it's going to be nothing like that in 2020. Um, ever since Chinese New Year, uh, we've had zero events happening up until a couple of weeks ago uh, when we had first had the wedding fair. So we've effectively had sort of four and a half, five months with no shows at all, um, which has hit everybody very, very hard. Um, thankfully, I mean, there has been some assistance from the government uh, who've come in with uh, measures in the anti-epidemic scheme to try and um, help us to kind of carry on. Um, but it's been quite interesting because with no physical events taking place, um, organisers have had to kind of adapt uh, and think about what their customers and, and, and what their market needs. Um, so a lot of people have been looking at uh, digital events. Um, you know, we, we've looked at, you know, from the start, I think very beginning, um, they were very kind of low end um, Zoom calls with, you know, a few people kind of coming in and out. Um, the sound was patchy, you know, somebody's dog was barking in the background and etc. Um, I think as time has gone on, um, people have understood that actually we need to be a bit more sophisticated than this. Uh, and so people have invested in equipment. Um, some people have kind of set up almost like studios in their offices. Um, I've seen green screens, I, you know, I've seen all sorts of things because I think that people are starting to see, well, actually, this is the new normal. And if you've got content to share, it may well be a while before everybody is able to get on aeroplanes and, you know, come to Hong Kong and, and kind of be a part of that. So actually, we need to be a lot more sophisticated in how we deliver that information, in how we connect um, buyers and sellers together in virtual environments. So, so yeah, I, it's, we've, we've, we've become, and, and uh, somebody used the word um, fidgetal, um, a hybrid of physical and digital, which I, which I really hope doesn't catch on. Yes. Um, Not going to be in the Oxford Dictionary <laughs> too soon. Um, what about the, um, the because I mean, my experience with exhibitions is that you don't just come for the content as in to learn you also come to network and find distributors partners etc how do you I can see the content part moving quite easily into the digital realm not easily but smoothly yeah how does the networking part happen I mean I know that a lot of over the last few years you've seen uh, convention organizers introduce apps where you can kind of connect with people before you turn up and then you meet them for a coffee or whatever how are you seeing that part? I mean, that's, a, I guess, is an equally important part is the, the lead generation part of the business. How, how is that helping people who participate in your exhibition? Yeah, look, I, I mean, so, so you're, you're absolutely right. I think from a content point of view, um, people are interested to learn because they need to, to do their job better. Um, they'll come on and they'll learn. Um, when it comes to buying and selling and relationship building and, and leads and all the rest of it, then I think digital has limitations. Um, I mean, I've seen some very good um, sort of environments where, you know, you've got avatars that can sit down at a table and talk with five or six people and get up and move to the next table, etc. Um, and we'll be experimenting with some of those later this year at the Start Me Up Festival, which I think you said I can plug later, um, but not now. Um, so, so there are all those things. Uh, my view is that I think in the future what we're going to see is we're going to see digital events continuing and them being very good at getting people to the first kind of couple of stages of the sales process. So whereby you're collecting leads, you're um, assessing people's interest and you're giving them information. I think that the kind of the second part of the sales process, which is all about building relationships, building trust, getting people comfortable that, that you know, you're, 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 you are what you say you are and you're going to deliver, um, that needs to happen physically. Um, and I think closing deals and building those, those sales relationships 
in my opinion, are not going to happen in the digital environment for, for, for some time to come. And what about on the business side, the, uh, the sponsors? Because obviously when you're, when you're an organiser of these types of events, you have revenues from tickets, from, from booths. Uh, how, do you, how do you find the appetite is for the, the people that want to sponsor these events and get on people's radars? How, how are you dealing with that? Or is it just becoming a kind of, like you said earlier, a media game? Yeah, look, I, I, it's interesting. I think different companies view it differently depending on where they are in their own digital cycle. Um, certainly for, for a lot of some of the large organisations who really understand the value of face-to-face -face, um, and, and building relationships, as I said, that they don't want any part of it. I mean, they're really not interested. They see it as a sort of an advertising thing um, and actually they, they can go and spend their money on Google to do that. Um, for younger companies, then they do understand that actually this is a good way of getting more exposure of your brand, um, building sales leads, you know, getting people in interested in, in, in the product. But I think universally, um, people are not, at this point anyway, they are not prepared to, to, to part with the same amount of budget for a digital event as they would be for a physical event. Um, despite, you know, in, in many cases, if it's about lead generation, they're probably going to get a lot more and they're certainly going to get it from a larger geographical area. And a higher quality, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, but as I say, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I don't think people are going to close sales. So no. therefore, you know, if you look at the ROI, I mean, depending on how you judge it, if I've got, you know, 200 sales leads, am I happy? Or if I've got 20 signed orders, depend, you know, which, which one is better for you? And talking about the retail, because you've done most of your exhibition work in the, in the retail business. Um, retail is a very, uh, your exhibitions usually uh, that you've done in the past, there's a very tactile part of it, right? People are showing all kinds of things from the way that you display products to how you, in, you know, buy stuff to, how do, you, how do you see the transition of that, that very tactile retail element? Yeah, look, I mean, physical retail is not going away, um, but then at the same time, so, so we've been running um, events in the retail sector since 2008, um, and I remember some of the early stuff that we did, you know, the conferences and things together with KPMG. Everybody was talking about digital transformation and they were talking about e-commerce and all these things. And we've had over 10 years of that. And actually, there's been some strides in that direction. But for a lot of physical retailers, they haven't had to move. Um, I think what we've seen with uh, the global pandemic is that actually now, they've now woken up to the fact that, well, you know, Guess what? Digital transformation. We've been talking about it. Now we actually now have to do happening. something. So, so I, I see there's a lot of fast movement in that in that sort of general direction. Great. Well, this is a nice segue to your first plug, which you cheekily mentioned earlier. So, let's hear what you'd like to promote first. Well, look, we're involved with uh, Invest Hong Kong uh, and the Start Me Up Festival. Um, we're doing a, a section which is going to happen on Tuesday, the seventh of July, uh, called Connected Retail Experiences. Um, working together with a number of partners, a number of really cool startups. Uh, we've got a fantastic program of speakers, um, you know, starting with somebody in Australia and ending with somebody in London. Um, and we'll kind of go through um, all that's in between uh, and talk about everything to do with, with digital and, and, and how retail uh, and brands survive. And where can people find you? Uh, well, they can go to connectedretail.hk. Uh, um, or they can find us at the Start Me Up HK website. And you've got virtual booths kind of going on there as well, I saw. That's right, so. yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's like a, 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 an exhibition hall as you come in, you can see people walking around, you can go into the plenary, you can go into the Solutions Theatre, you can go into the Expo Hall. Um, so, you know, it's, even if, you know, you're perhaps not going to spend all day there, it's interesting to have a look and see what a virtual exhibition can look like. But I'm going to miss the, the cocktail hour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're all going to miss the cocktail, Alan. Let, let's hope that physical events come back and, and we can share a beer again at some point. And plug number two? Uh, plug number two, well, I, I'm the chairman of the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Industry Association, um, which has got 120 corporate members. Um, it's our 30th anniversary this year. Uh, and we are the definitive association uh, for events, live events, conventions and exhibitions. So anybody who's in that space, uh, who's interested in coming and, and, and talking with our members and being involved in some of our events, uh, you can find us at the HKECA website, which I think is exhibitions.org. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Yeah.